Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Camilla. If you have never been on my channel before, hello, welcome. I am going to be filming all the products that I use on a daily basis today. I wanted to make this video because I have very sensitive dry skin and it took me a while to find some products that don't irritate my skin or have a lot of fragrance and just work for me. It's It's been a journey. It's been quite a journey with my skin. I don't know if I want to put pictures because I'm very self-conscious about my acne and how it used to look. I, whatever. Okay, so this was my acne before I found products that work for my skin and didn't strip me from my natural oils and just kept me hydrated and plump and way better than before. To start off, when I wake up in the morning, I rinse my face with cold water. It helps my pores close, like before I start putting makeup on. I don't like to wash my face in the morning because since I have very dry skin, skin if i wash my face like twice a day it'll start stripping my face from the natural oils and my face will just start peeling or drying very badly in certain areas i got this in my little birthday gift set at sephora like two years ago and i just ran out of it today but i already put this on my face i put a little pea size amount right here right here 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 and here the next product i would have used but unfortunately i'm all out is the bare minerals skin longevity face serum Hailey bieber put me on this it's fire it leaves my skin glowing and feeling so plump it says that you can use this in the morning and at night i like to use it in the morning when i feel like my face needs a little pick me up before my makeup routine i use it sometimes in the morning but i use it every single night and then i would go in with this elta md skincare sunscreen bomb fire no white cast it's great i had been on a search for a good sunscreen and i finally found it it's great for my sensitive skin it doesn't irritate it doesn't break me out whatsoever and the makeup i'm gonna be doing today it's makeup that i usually wear before i go to work and it's just like a fast 10 minutes max makeup routine but i'm gonna try to go through it very fast i don't want this video to be super long and boring the next product i use is the yerba mate wake up eye gel by good molecules i got this at sephora when i used to work at sephora because everyone was like raving about it at some point and i was like you know what let me try this i need a new eye cream but it's like a gel it's not really a cream it's like a gel but it's nice i like it i would say though i tried the origins eye cream before and i like that one a lot too because it depuffs my eyes my eyes get very puffy most of the time when i wake up in the mornings that one it just does such a great job at deep puffing your eyes but this one is great too it doesn't break me out or anything also disclaimer i'm not a dermatologist or anything i've just i've been to the dermatologist several times too many times in one lifetime i uh i'm just showing you guys what works for me that's it for what i use in the morning moving on to makeup for the makeup portion of this video I'm gonna make it very quick. I'm very quick in the morning when I do my makeup before work. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do. So I get the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. It's in the shade Peach Corrector. I have very dark circles under my eyes. So if I just put a little bit goes a long way too with this stuff. So I just put a little bit on each eye and then I also do like the corner and then if i have like any dark spots from past acne then i'll just put a little bit on there and it just makes it disappear all right i have like a lot of scarring on this side and then i just use my fingers to blend all of that in you can use a brush you can also use a beauty blender i use a beauty blender sometimes i just like how it looks when i blend it with my fingers i've used a beauty blender before to blend this corrector and it works just as good and i like to bring it up to my eyelids because i have very discolored eyelids as well blend out the little spots on a day where i want to do a light quick makeup i like to use the nyx bear with me 
concealer stick that's what it looks like you guys this concealer is really great i really like it the coverage is great it leaves your skin looking like skin it doesn't look cakey i'm in the shade beige okay so i just do maybe like a half pump on my on the back of my hand and then i clean my finger because you don't want any like debris from that corrector on your finger so i just clean my finger off on a towel that i have or like a tissue or something so then i just take my finger i like to put it like right here on my nose chin forehead and sometimes it's just not enough for me so i'll put a little bit more i try to just um cover up the areas that i use the correct concealer with just so it doesn't look orange a little bit more guys and then the sides of my nose because i get very red i'm gonna take jaclyn hill times morphe foundation brush it's the jh03 brush and i'm gonna start blending everything in it doesn't have to be perfect at all we're just trying to even out our skin tone we're gonna go in with patting motions guys do not rub because then it'll just mix up sealer, moisturizer, serum, and everything. And then it'll start to get clumpy. So we're just patting right now everything in. Make sure your blend looks very seamless at the end. Okay, so I switch off on a daily with these three so depending on the day i either use the fit me the nars or the tarte concealer but today i'm gonna use the cheapest one out of the three way cheaper than this and it's just it's it's just as good you know if you're an og you know how much i love this so i'm just gonna take a little bit under my eye just right here keeping it in the front I'm trying to get more just keeping it right here in the front where my dark circles are okay and then a little bit on the corner of my eye just a little bit guys not too much don't want to get too crazy and then i have some acne scarring just a little bit on my forehead so i'm going to cover that up some on my chin and the sides of my nose so then i get the same brush and pat it in pat it all in oh oops i totally forgot guys but i also go in on my acne scars on my cheeks just a little bit i don't really consider this a full face i don't like to put too much product on when i'm doing my makeup for work how i like to do it i just like to kind of take it easy give my skin a little bit of breathing room <laughs> you know what i mean but don't get me wrong i do love a full face all right and so then with my brush i kind of lightly like pad my under eye in just like that i'll just pat it and then with my finger i'll make sure everything is melted in next product that i like to use just a little bit of is the maybelline fit me concealer it's in the shade 50 it's very dark for me so i like to use just a little bit but i basically kind of contour with this i like to contour right here on my forehead my nose and just like two dots on the upper part of my cheek kind of like above my cheekbone so you guys i take the same brush <laughs> okay don't come for me but i take the same exact brush and pat it in just pat that right in all right so after that is all blended in and you're looking a little bit bronzy we're gonna go in with our blush now all right well i just dropped my blush but Oh my god, it's magnet? Oh, take the Tarte 12 hour blush, Amazonian clay. It's in the shade Blissful. It's, it's in the shade Blissful and it looks like this. It's very old. It's the very first blush that I have ever purchased. I go in with patting motions again and I try to keep it on the upper part of my cheek like very high up like touching the corner of my eye i put a lot because it comes off anyway throughout the day okay and then i put some on the bridge of my nose and i put some on my forehead blend it up to my hairline with my forehead you can kind of get away with like rubbing it like that but i like to pat on my cheeks just so it doesn't ruin any of the contour that we put under or anything i even put some on my chin it's such a natural color too the fuck is that itchy okay so then i'm gonna take the laura mercier powder this is this is the little mini size i used to hate this stuff guys i used to hate it like it would dry my skin out so bad 
it would look so patchy it was just because my skincare routine was shit so now it's just like amazing on me because when i tell you i used to hate this shit <laughs> I despised it like at the store. I would be like why would everyone fucking buy that? It literally sucks. No, it's really good It's really good most of the product is on the cap and I kind of dip it one time tap all the excess off There's literally any barely left, but I just put it on My under eyes. I went in with my finger and blended out the creases So make sure you do that before you go in with your setting powder again tapping motions this video is about to be longer than I expected, but that's okay. And then I put some on the sides of my nose and then on my forehead. And then with the acne scars that I went over with concealer. And then you set the chin, the mustache, and I like to set my eyelid. Take the creases off or any excess concealer. Make sure there's no creases before you go in with your setting powder. So I just take a little bit, tap off all the excess and go in very lightly tapping motions and then i like to go like down my nose and set that just like that all right you guys so i just recently picked this up from ulta it's the physicians formula butter bronzer it's in the shade deep bronzer i think oh my god i totally forgot i had this little thing on the bottom then I'm going to take my bronzer brush from the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Cosmetics brush set. Um, it's the JH06 brush. It's meant for blush. It's meant for blush, but I use it for my bronzer because I just find that it fits perfectly in my cheekbone. So I like it for that. So I'm just going to go in my forehead first because if your forehead looks bronze, you look bronze, okay? So we're gonna go in, really get into the hairline. You don't want your hairline to look white, but I just use tapping motions. But on my cheeks, I like to keep the bronzer pretty high up, kind of like in between where I put the blush and my natural cheekbone. So like right here, you know, and I just pat that in. Pat, pat, pat. You don't want to swipe. It'll just ruin your makeup. And I like to go under my eye just like that. So my face just looks evened out. You know what I mean? And on my chin and basically everywhere else on my face. <laughs> and don't forget to bronze the ears up so it'll look weird if they're not bronzed up and then i like to put a little bit on the bottom of my chin to really get that jawline going make sure it's blended very nicely i'll just take like the excess and kind of make it look like eyeshadow <laughs> and then for my brows i just brush them up and brush off the makeup that got on them with a spoolie i would go in with some eyebrow gel but i'm all out i don't have any <laughs> So I'm just gonna brush them up and lately that's just what I've been doing since I'm out of gel I've just been brushing them up and then if I want I'll go in with like a brown eyeshadow But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm happy with how my eyebrows look. So I just leave them I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. I take my Maybelline sky high mascara and I just put it on the tips of my lashes very lightly. My bottom lashes, just a little bit. I don't like to do too much on my bottom lashes. I want it to look very natural, you know? Then I get a spoolie and I kind of just comb through my lashes, make them look as natural as possible. And I think my favorite product throughout this whole video would have to be this lip liner. It's the new lip liner by Refai Beauty. You take the cap off and it comes with your lip liner. And when you screw it off, it comes with the setting serum gel, okay? So this setting gel is supposed to set your lip liner all day. And when I tell you it sets it all day, it sets it all day. Day. You guys, they have the prettiest nude colors too. I got it in the shade blush. So I got it in the shade blush, but let me show you guys how this applies. Even the lip liner consistency is perfection. It's creamy, not too matte. It's so pretty and it lasts all day. So what more do you want, you know? So I go in 
and line my lips okay and once i'm done lining my lips i'll just fill in my lips just like that oh this color is so pretty too so you let that dry a little bit while that's drying i'm gonna go in with the physician's formula butter highlighter look how pretty it is look how pretty okay so then I take my finger, tap it in, and then I tap it on the back of my hand just to kind of warm it up, you know? It is like kind of a cream consistency, so I like to do that. And then I'll take my finger, and then with my pinky that has no product on it, I like to blend like the outer part of where I placed the highlighter with my small ass pinky. And then I like to put some on my brow bone, blend it out with my pinky, right? And then I'll just do the same thing to the other side. And then the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And I don't really like putting it on the tip of my nose. I don't really know why I did that. I always end up putting it on the tip of my nose and then I just like kind of rub it off because I don't end up liking it. This highlight is a need if you like to look glowy. All right, then I'll make sure that my lips are nice and set and go in with the top coats and I just like to use a little bit and I love how bendy the applicator is for this it's so easy to put it on too so then you let that dry and this lip liner it doesn't transfer onto your mask onto your hand you let it dry and it stays on all day you guys it's so good I've literally been waiting for a product like this my whole life so thank you refi beauty if you see this please send me more <laughs> i only got to get it in the blush shade yeah this lip liner let me show you this lip liner is not going anywhere yeah that was the products that i use before i go do something with my friends or before i go to work i keep on watching and see what i use for my skincare products and stuff Stay tuned.